we need to post some stuff on social media and we've ran out, but we've been told by our marketing people that we must post at least seven days a week, but we don't know what to say. So what are we gonna say? Um, when I first started making content a couple of months ago, I decided maybe I'll put my videos on TikTok. And when I first put my first videos on TikTok, the first video got 500 likes immediately, within about 10 minutes or something like that. And then the second video, which I posted immediately after because I was so addicted by it, got 700 views immediately. And then I posted another video after that, about a day later, that video got 900 views immediately. Well, this, this website looks interesting. The National Day Calendar. Let's start there. And I may be slightly ashamed to admit that I'd suddenly become addicted to TikTok, that I was addicted to creating on TikTok because for some reason my content seemed to be getting recognized on TikTok. Suddenly I thought I was some big, huge star. I'd got 500 views on TikTok, despite the fact that 500 views on TikTok means absolutely sweet. Oh, that's an interesting one. The National Arrays Self-Negativity Day. I can't see that one working at all, at least personally for me. Oh, I must have, I must have got the day wrong there. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. It's a phrase I've been thinking about a lot lately. And those views on TikTok didn't return anything. And actually what ended up happening is my, for whatever reason, my TikTok account got banned. And I set up a new TikTok account and the new TikTok account didn't get anywhere near the same interaction on views or likes or anything on exactly the same videos. I don't know what happened with the first TikTok account, but it's a very clear example of how a platform is trying to addict you to it as a creator. And just because we can make content on all these platforms, we should ask ourselves, why are we making this content before we make it? If we're trying to get more business, we have to understand, well, what kind of content does that mean that we need to create before we start creating it? Otherwise, you end up just creating content for content's sake because some content person told you that you need to make content. National Farm Animals Day, maybe we could, um, I don't know what we could do with that one actually. We sell procurement. We have nothing to do with farm animals whatsoever. What's the point in that? It's a waste of everybody's time. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. I've got more of a rational view on all of this now after the TikTok debacle, after I've had a couple of pieces of content go viral over the years. It's extremely alluring, these platforms. They are designed to addict us to making content on them. The whole point of LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, whatever, is for you to get addicted to them, both as a creator and a consumer. I mean, they even make content when they can barely speak, when they sound like Iggy Pop after a vicious bender, and they're still making content every single day because they feel like they have to. Is that one, that one's about me, that one, isn't it? So it makes sense that when you make content on these platforms, you suddenly want to make more content. It's not a, a deficiency in your own brain. The platform is designed to addict you. The platform is designed to make you want to make content for it. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. So before you go away and think about making more content, think about who is it serving? Are you making it because the platform wants to see it? Or are you making it because when you make that content, it might lead to something that you want? that you'll benefit from instead of the platform because the platforms want to addict you to making content and you, well, need to try and avoid that as much as possible. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. I'm flummoxed. I don't know what else we could say.